Hi, we're Zach and Ashlyn, and we just built our dream chicken coop. This coop comes with Dutch doors, functional windows, an egg collection and storage area, brooder, roosts, and plenty of space for our chickens. If you want to build this chicken coop too, click the link in the description for in-depth plans on how to build it. Now let's get into the video. Well, we got one layer of half inch plywood on the floor there and we were walking around on it and we're not too happy with how spongy it is. So we have a ton of leftover plywood from when we took it off of our house and we're gonna throw on another layer so it'll be about an inch thick. Now we've got two layers of OSB down and Ashlyn's walking on it. It's a lot more stable. So the next thing to do is we gotta start throwing up some walls.
As you may know, we bought an Amish property. We ran electricity to the house, but not to our barns, which means to do projects like this, we have to run tons of extension cords. Thanks to Opus, we can ditch the cords and use this power station anywhere on our farm. It will charge our batteries and powers our saws without any issues. To make this power station even better, Opus made solar panels that can be used to recharge it, which means constant, off-grid power anywhere on our farm. Click the link in the description to get 10% off your very own Opus power station. Now back to the build. Well, we got all four walls put up. We still have to put on our sheeting and then we also have to put a middle wall in there, but it's starting to look like a chicken coop. So now we're gonna work on our rafters and to make these cuts, I'm not a framer by any means and I don't really know the science of it, but basically what we're doing is we're sticking our square or button that up next to our wall here and then we're uh, drawing a line on that. And then we take a two by four, set that on top of our wall. And then from there, we're drawing a line on top. And obviously this one's already been cut out, but that makes it so it seats right there on the wall. And we'll use this one as a template to cut the rest. So that way the wall is nice and level and uniform. So now we're gonna put the front board on here. Again, I'm not a framer, I'm an idiot. I have no idea what that is actually called. But if you don't have a second person or if you're like Ashlyn and you have to film this, we can put up a board here and that basically just makes it so we can set one side and then I can go down on the other side and tack it in down there. So we've got all the exterior walls up, we've got the framing of the roof done, but there's still a little bit more framing to do because this is a two room coop. We're gonna have one side on the front, which is gonna be a little area where we can walk in. We'll have a brooder on one side, we'll have some storage and their nesting boxes. And then in the back, we're gonna have their actual coop with their doors to go out to uh, our nice big huge compost pile here, some pasture behind them, things like that. So next we need to throw up this middle wall and then we've got a really nice, used piece of vinyl flooring that we're gonna throw in here and uh, hopefully keep the, the plywood from rotting too much.
Ashland's at work today, so I'm gonna be working on this alone. And because I'm working by myself and I need to put up this T111, I'm gonna do a little hack where I, I put a board underneath so I can actually set that plywood on there and I don't have to hold it and nail it at the exact same time. <laughs> Well, we got the roof on and Ashlyn's back today to help me. We are going to go ahead and paint this roof. It's something I've never done before. We want to do it on our house. And so I'm going to test it on this, on this chicken coop. To paint this roof, we're going to be using an oil-based paint. All the research that I did said that an oil base is going to be the best for a roof. And we're going to be using the Rust-Oleum. I think most people usually use this on like cars and stuff. Should work pretty well for the metal roof.
decided to put a rain catchment on and of course we put our gutters in so I think it'll be really nice to be able to harvest some water from this. Definitely wasn't needed for this build but I think it's going to be a plus. We finally finished the structure of the chicken coop. The outside is completely done so now we're just going to work on the finishing details. So on the inside of our coop here we've got this middle wall because the side I'm on is going to be like a brooder storage area. We're going to be able to access our eggs from here. And then that side is the actual chicken coop, which is five feet by 10 feet. And so we need to build a door right here. We need to put up some netting to divide this area. And of course we need to put in our hen gear roll away nest box. gear roll away nest box. I think this is the medium, uh, which is about 34 inches wide. And I think it's good for like 25 chickens. I might, I might be mistaken, but I'm really excited to use this thing. I hate cleaning eggs with poop on them. I would much rather not have to clean my eggs and then leave them out. But when you get poop on them, you have to clean them, which means they have to end up going in the fridge. It's pretty neat because we have this little roost bar so they can jump up here and then they can go in and lay in this little nesting area. And there's quite a bit of space, it's 34 inches wide. So you could probably fit three chickens in here. Our chickens honestly go one after the other. <laughs> Sometimes they just stand in line waiting to hop into the nest box and lay their eggs. But it's pretty neat. So at night, if you have issues with your chickens sleeping in the nest box, you can just put this up and that blocks them from going in. That's a pretty cool feature. And probably my favorite part about this, obviously the rollaway nest is really sweet, but what I love is I can access these eggs from the outside of the chicken coop. I think that's the greatest design. And so I'll flip these up and basically open this up and all of our eggs will sit right in here, nice and clean and uh, ready to go sit on the shelf. I'm extremely excited to put this thing to use, but we're still not done with this chicken coop, so let's get to it. You can definitely just leave this chicken wire up like this. It's really nice and stiff. And one thing we like to do is we like to put like these little, I don't know, maybe like butt strip or something is what you would call it. And that just kind of evens it out because this, if you ever mess with chicken wire, it's incredibly sharp. And if you're not wearing gloves like I'm not, you always end up getting cut. So we're gonna cover these ends up so that way when we're in here cleaning the coop or even if the chickens jump on it or anything, they won't get cut, we won't get cut. We're going to be putting a bunch of wood chips in here we are going to put a little board at the bottom so that way 
you know, the wood chips or poop or anything goes into the other room, it'll all kind of stay in here. And if it ever gets to this high, we'll end up cleaning it out anyway. finished our beautiful chicken coop. We went ahead and added Dutch doors. We just love the way they look. I think it adds more of a farmy kind of appearance. All of our windows all around, they open and then they stay closed with a little latch here. So when it's windy, they don't flap all over the place and break off. Obviously a beautiful chicken coop isn't complete without beautiful flowers. And on both sides, we have chicken coop doors that lift up and they do hook up here. We decided to put a rain barrel down at the back and put in a gutter as well that leads into it so we never have to go to our water spigots for our water. We can just keep feeding our chickens rainwater. Now going on to the inside, we see a brooder to the right. That's for all the new chicks that come to the farm. To the left here, we made sure to keep enough room for all of the feed, all of their little treats that I love to give them. Um, and then we have our main door to get into the coop. We use real logs as the roosts. And then once you come in to the left, we have our hen gear um, nesting boxes. At night when we go ahead and close up all the chicken coop doors, we also have to lift up this bar so they don't try to roost in there. This is the roll away nest box so we can always grab the eggs from behind the coop 
instead of having to actually go inside. And this also keeps the eggs nice and clean. We are super happy with this project. It took us quite a while, so we just can't wait to go ahead and get all the chickens moved and into their new home. Anytime we have a new location or a new nesting box, I always like to use these fake eggs. And I know this is a rollaway nest box, but I'm pretty sure I can get this thing to stay enough for them to know where to lay tonight. So hopefully we don't have any issues and they start to lay in here and not on the ground. Chickens are gonna be a little scared for a while because we just snatched them out of their last home. But we're gonna leave them in here for the night so that way they know that this is home. And we are gonna set up all of our chicken netting outside to prepare for tomorrow when we let them out. But they'll stay nice and cozy in here tonight. So we've got our Premier One electric netting up and if you've watched, I think it was early December, we pulled all of the deep bedding out of our big barn where our cows are in the winter time. And we laid it out in a pile here. And the plan was to let the chickens come out, till this up, we'll mount it back up for them and that'll help the composting process. But we got our net up, so tomorrow they'll be able to run free. They got a lot more space. There's a little bit more greens in here. And of course they're gonna just go through all the bugs that are sitting in that compost and all that poop, so. Well, that's the chicken coop build. We are making plans for this, so I will leave a link down in the description below. I believe we're gonna put it on Etsy. Yeah, so if you're wanting to build this chicken coop, we are gonna sell plans for it so you can just follow along super easy. We're super happy with how this coop turned out and it took us quite a while, about three or four weeks to get it done because we were doing it on the weekends. We wanted to do it as much as we could together and uh, we're really happy with it. Ashland's excited to have a nice, pretty chicken coop on our farm now. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.